the same body that we're looking at tonight. In the old days, if he was fighting as a middleweight, you'd be looking at that <laughs> same body. Yeah, you're going to you have a really, actually, almost a lightweight and nothing. Now we'll see what color is for real as he hammers the Corley right on the chin with the right hand. And down goes Corley off the left foot. Knockdown. I, I, I agree with you, Larry. It was, it, a lot of it is a strip. You can see the... So see that Cotto has worked hard on throwing straight right hands, and his right hand lead is working perfectly. And now Corley comes back with a left hand lead, a right hook. They trade shots, and Corley goes to his knees again. The very powerful short after punches. The difference seems to be simply the weight difference. And Marcus Corley's never been knocked out. Miguel Cotto's trying to get it done in the first round. Difference in the strength. There's a red mark under the left eye of Corley. Maybe it's already from Corley, or I should say from Cotto, and Corley grabs and holds. I mean, but still, he's not trying to clinch and just survive, neither. But he's also going through one of the most punishing rounds up in this yeah. round. And when we go to Miguel Cotto's corner where they speak Spanish, our interpreter is Terry O'Maya, and Cotto doesn't like Corley, and 68 power shots. You know, Corey came in extremely light, thing that he wanted to show a little bit more movement in boxing, but he's not really doing that. And maybe it's because Cotto won't let him. Very high, short after pinpoint punches. But you guys, when you look back at Gomez and Rosario and Tito and Benitez, Cotto! Right hand to the body again by Cotto, twice. Left hook upstairs and the left hook to the body. Drives. Corley's going to get some shots at Cotto's chin. Yeah, Already to popped him a couple times. Oh, now very hard left. Guy, right, guy right, right through it. There's another big left cross by Corley. Cotto has been a little bit more... Cotto with the double left hook. Landing to the body again there. Right to the body. And that backs Corley off. Corley with a hard left to the body himself. Cotto partially blocked it with his elbow. That one oh, right up and the He it. Corley has hurt Cotto. Miguel Cotto's in trouble. And it's left in this round. And Corley goes twice to the body and Cotto still going. Going to the body. Should be going to the head. Great left hook countered by Cotto. Tap. With a minute and a half still to go in the round. Well, we've Let's never seen... Right hook again. And the right hook is turning the damage. Hard by Corley. We've never seen... He's letting Corley swarm him and looking for chances to counter. Hard right hand. And he's leaving himself over to get caught with a right hook. Great left. Cotto seems to have his faculties back. The right hook again. Three. Definitely, as Larry said, 10-8 Corley. He had him out. 27-27 or even. Corley lands him, and he's holding his yeah. hands a little higher. Yeah, he's throwing more of a right hook more instead now. Impressing me tonight. I, I never expected this type of a fight from him. Since I was talking more about the effect than the intent. Strong combination by Cotto. Rocks Corley one more time against the ropes. Corley comes back. Corley is finding holes in Toro. Now there's an upstairs. Toro is oh, 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 just so much. That he's such a great physical advantage in terms of weight and strength. Good, quick. Hard left cut by Toro. And it Corley took it really well. That was a busting shot. Unable to land a clean shot. In that sequence. Great left hand by Cotto. Big left hook by Cotto. And a great left hook knocks Corley into the ropes again. Dropping right hand. Cotto thinks he has the moment. Corley there up now as Cotto's body work is beginning to show up. Yeah. Cotto's much more effective. Hard left hook drives Corley into the ropes again. And DeMarcus is down on the canvas. The second knockdown of the fight. The winner, and still...
el invicto gran campeón Puerto Riqueño Miguel